Yo, word, what up? Hey, who? Hey, hey, put your hands in the air. You just don't care. Put your hands in the air. Hey, hey. I can never be a rapper. I get too confused in my own mind. I can't even think that fast. Now that I've embarrassed myself. What's up, boys? You fix my hair. Ready? It's all right. Okay, ready? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Today, we're going to be talking about something a little different than normal. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> it's going to be a good old time. So this is going to be uh, characters that I want to see come into the game in 2020, and that's going to be great. I don't know. You guys probably know. You probably can guess a lot of this stuff based on how I talk already, especially if you watch streams. If you watch streams, a lot of these you guys are already going to know, or if you hang out with me on Discord, you're already going to know. Now, if you don't, then you're not going to know. And that's what this video is for. Hey! So these are characters I would love to see. Some of them I think are definitely coming, and others I think have no chance of coming, but they're ones that I would still love to see, and just some thoughts on that. Uh, definitely, definitely let me know. Leave a comment uh, with the characters that you want to see, or if you agree with my thoughts, or you have your own thoughts, I would love to know, because I love interacting with you guys. So we continue the conversation on Discord too, if you guys are not already in there. So here we go. Let's uh, get rolling with this list we're gonna go through some of them pretty quickly because i actually have a pretty large list it's just because i think about all the characters that get added to the game all the time i think that it's possible that if they were like hey let's add every one of combs's characters they could do all of these in the next year so for this i'm just on the uh, contest of champions fan website i'm not actually sure what the site is but it has like a lot of the characters that i talked about on here so it'll be easier to look through all of them um, the first character i would really love to see is a uh, spider gwen Obviously, Spider Gwen's dope we all know who she is it would be super sick if she was added to the game i thought she was coming um before and like when into the spider verse came out really think that was a missed opportunity by fox next to not add her in i don't even really remember what was going on in the game at the time but they didn't add her they actually did not add like any characters that i thought they were going to at the time like when they added green goblin i thought that was kind of weird because he really wasn't in the movie that much and they did really take that weird iteration of him that a lot of people were like feeling weird about so i don't know what's up with that um but you know hey that's uh, neither here nor there. So Spider-Gwen would be awesome to have added into the game right now. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be right now. But she's super, super cool. Uh, we could have her synergize with, like, the regular Spider-Verse team because Spider-Verse team's kind of in a weird place right now. Obviously, Carnage and Venom are kind of shifting to go with Brotherhood as some of the Marauder characters are going into their own faction. So then if you put uh, Carnage and Venom into the Brotherhood faction, it worked pretty well. It seems like they were kind of designed to work together anyways, as it is. So... Then you end up just having, uh, you know, Green Goblin ends up going with uh, Sinister Six. So then you just have Spider-Man and Miles. They can go to a brawler team. But then also maybe you just want to have a cool spider team. So Spider-Gwen could definitely fit in there. Now, who would be the other characters? Well, I'm not too sure yet. But we could do it that way, starting with Spider-Gwen. Honestly, kind of following in the same sort of uh, vein, uh, Gwenpool, I think would just be really cool. I don't know. I think I just think that Gwenpool is cool i think that just different iterations of current characters is pretty cool so uh this is kind of a weird iteration of gwenpool that i don't i have not but anyways i, I mean i think that gwenpool is super cool i think she would be just fun i don't know it, it would be kind of funny to have like this is something that i think would just be hilarious if you just had like a bunch of different like iterations of the same character but then they had like synergy together so almost like if you had a bunch of deadpools but then they like played off of each other i think that would be so funny if you just had like a full deadpool team like you go into um you go into like alliance war and there's just like just like the first room is like five deadpools or something or like five spider-mans because there's obviously different versions of spider-man or like five venoms i think that would be really cool uh, or five iron mans five hulks you know whatever whatever okay obviously there's a lot and that could get out of hand very quickly but it would be kind of funny with like deadpool especially like with his comedy his humor and kind of just like how it's like he breaks through the fourth wall or the third wall or whatever however many walls he breaks through i think that that would be hilarious and uh, so I don't know, I like Gwenpool. So if you guys know me at all, I constantly, or at least used to, I don't as much anymore, but I constantly used to talk about the different symbiotes. I love ooh, all these symbiotes and stuff. I mean, you guys know that Carnage is my favorite Marvel character of all time. I just love all of these characters. So like even like Scream is one of my favorites. Uh, she's like really scary. Oh, okay. This took me to the trailer for the Scream movie. This is obviously not what I wanted. All right. Well, here's an image amongst images of this horror movie. <laughs> but Scream is super cool. Uh, I think she, to me, is just like kind of really freaky um, because like her power is like screaming, kind of like actually a Black Bolt, uh, similar at least. And um, it's not the same. Don't at me in the comments. But it's like 
similar enough that her voice is like her power and she's like really scary i mean look at her claws and like the hair like she kind of looks like predator a little bit with the hair which i think is dope and this is like a chick and i just like i don't know i enjoy i enjoy a cool badass chick villain like why not like it's super cool for me scream would be very very cool beyond that i really like lasher i think that lasher is very cool um i don't really know him super super much or well but uh he's pretty dope he's got like the like the things that come out of his back and um, that to me is pretty sick. Um, I love this image of him. It's little, which is frustrating. But, um, okay, they're all little apparently. Okay, there we go. I think it's just pretty cool, like just the things coming out of his back. It reminds me of uh, Spider-Man uh, when he has like, when the suit is on kill mode. And it's just like got like the other tentacles and stuff. Also kind of reminds me of Doc Ock a little bit. But it's pretty dope. I like that. I think he's like really cool and kind of kind of scary. Uh, beyond this, I could honestly talk about these guys forever. But uh, Riot is really, really cool. I really like Riot um, Mania. I really like. I think that she is pretty spooky and pretty cool. The list goes on. So I also like like Anti Venom. Like who doesn't like Anti Venom? Like very very cool. And then kind of just I don't know. Going beyond it. I mean, there's not too too many more. But then Null would seem to be pretty important because he is like the king of the symbiotes. And so it'd be pretty sick to have him come to the game and then him be like a legendary type character and then he just like leads the symbiote so i don't know like we could figure out like which like characters you would have and you could just have like a full symbiote team and then you could add null on like the back end he could be like unlocked through i don't know something dumb i don't know he, but however he could be unlocked like fantastic four or something i don't know and then like you could use him with the symbiotes and they could be like a really good like i would love it if they would be like a really good like arena team because obviously i love them so like i just want to use them but like that would just be very very cool to me to have like a team like this where it's like a lot of people really know a lot of this stuff so you have like venom carnage uh i don't know riot null and then like like i said i like i like scream she would be a super cool next one or mania would be a really cool next one but then i mean you could also just have like anti-venom or like um or like uh, Corrupted Venom is really, really cool too. You can see it. Here's a picture of him right here. He's very cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, so it's like, these are things I think about because I love, I love, I love, I love these teams. I realize that most of this list is Spider-Verse characters. <laughs> and I just love Spider-Verse stuff because I grew up watching that stuff. So let's go to the next one who uh, also happens to be Spider-Verse. So this one, Craven. I really like Craven. I just always thought he was really cool and like really tough and crazy. And that's pretty dope, right? You want a villain who's like kind of just like, whoa, like what's going on? He's crazy. I don't know. I do. I enjoy a crazy villain. So Craven's super, super cool. But then beyond Craven, like, I don't know, like he's in Sinister Six. So you could have like Synergy with Sinister Six, which would be cool. And then, um, you know, Green Goblin could go where I don't know. There's just so many things that I just think about. I just love all the Spider-Verse. I like I want as many Spider-Verse as we have like Avengers. You know what I mean? And I don't know. that's something I'm thinking about. Craven would be sick. And then beyond that, I mean, if we had like doc ock obviously okay so it's just a bunch of toys apparently so i don't know you know good old doc ock wherever he's at i don't know i don't know whatever here we go class this dude i mean why is he not in the game already he's like the most like recognizable spider-man villain i guess i don't know him and green goblin are up there i guess i don't know i honestly think of hobgoblin before i think of green goblin but it's like okay so like we this needs to be in the game asap fox next why haven't we got our boy doc ock Okay, so Dr. Doom, obviously, I think that we all thought that he was coming to the game a long time ago and then just never did. I've heard some rumors that he could be the rumor for uh, the Dark Dimension 3. I don't know. That would be sick if it was, um, but it makes sense. I mean, he's super powerful, um, so it would be pretty cool if he was, but you know, hey, we don't know. Um, but Dr. Doom, I think, has a good chance of coming to the game, especially in this next year or so, but I guess we're going to see. I mean, there's no way to really know, of course, but Dr. Doom would be awesome if we could get him. That's my next character. I really want him. He's awesome, but I don't know. I don't really understand why we don't have this yet, but Red Skull, I mean, he's been in the game for forever, so I don't understand why we don't have him yet. It seems kind of ignorant to not use the assets that are already in there, but so Red Skull would be dope, could make Hydra better, and he himself is just a pretty cool character. I, I like him, and he's played cool roles in the movies. People know who he is. Like, why would you not... Why would you not put him in the game? 
So that should be soon. Should be this year. I hope. I don't know why there wouldn't be. Maybe Red Skull will be the reward to the Fear the Darkness. I don't know. That would be kind of weird. Or enter the new, excuse me, Dark Dimension. It would be pretty weird if you got him. And it was like, hey, just pair him with Hydra minions. And be like, okay, this is weird. I feel like the Dark Dimension rewards have to be a character that can stand on their own. Else it just kind of gets irritating to have to play through that entire mode and then gear up a whole team too. That would be ridiculous. All right. So obviously a lot of people really want Moon Knight. I think that Moon Knight would be sick. Um... The cool thing is, is that he's probably coming soon because they're putting out a show or a movie with him, right? Isn't that true? In the MCU, there's like a show or a movie coming with him soon. Now, is he going to come out when that comes out? Maybe. So maybe we can just look at when that's going to be. I don't actually know when that's going to be. Uh, it's 2020 or 2021. I can't really remember. Uh, but the simple fact is he is most likely coming to the game. And uh, he's just super cool. And he's just like really just, just tough, dude. He's tough. He'll just beat the F out of you. And that's just, that's it, man. He'll kill you. Look, Avatar, Executioner, Mercenary, Mark Spector. Oh, and that's his name. All right. <laughs> so he's super cool. I like him a lot. I think he would be very cool to the game. And um, yeah, let's let's get him in there, Fox, next. One thing I've noticed that when I've been like, looking through this list is that there's a lot of like iterations of characters. And that's something that I think would be very cool. So I made a list of characters that would be very cool to get like iterations of. So like we talked about like the symbiotes and different Venoms, uh, Spider-Mans, Iron Mans, uh, Deadpools. Those would all be very cool. But even beyond that, like uh, Venom Pool would be very cool. Um, and then someone who I had never really seen too much on before, but uh, King Groot, that would be someone who would be very cool in my opinion. He's pretty cool. I've seen him in this game before. I've seen him in uh, just other stuff, but that would be sick. It would be really cool to have king root in the game but then you have like other characters like i said like the other spider-mans a uh, hulk buster would be very cool as well in my opinion different iron mans different symbiotes uh even like uh with like wolverine we could have like old man logan uh we could have x-23 which i know is technically not wolverine but she's cloned from wolverine so like that would be pretty cool too to just kind of have those characters and just i don't know i mean i love this kind of stuff now it's kind of interesting right because like this game is hard you can't just like add characters willy nilly because they can't be like you can't level characters up willy nilly because they've kind of been doing that recently. So I don't know. I think they need to what they honestly ought to do is they should make it so the gear crunch is a little alleviated or like the character farming is a little alleviated. That way it's like if they release a bajillion new characters, but then it's like, OK, you know, in a month and a half that they're going to be added to a store or something like that, then it's like, OK, and then give us an easier way to get like gear that would be cool and then they just add some kind of like crunch another way i don't know or just like crunch on gear and make characters more available or make characters less available and make gear more available i don't really know which one but it needs to be something like that there needs to be some kind of balance that we don't have right now and uh that's just my opinion but there needs to be some kind of change with that especially i mean who doesn't want more characters i mean we all want more characters but we have to be careful because it can end up being just like too much obviously it's been very overwhelming recently we just got two more on the list two more so i hope you are still along for the ride um let me just let you know um our boy howard the duck where is he at the like first marvel character he is the first uh that's not true excuse me he's not namor but the first marvel character with a movie was Howard the Duck. I watched some of that movie and it was painful. But that's besides the point. Howard the Duck would be dope. I mean, he's got this little duck suit. I mean, who doesn't want him? You know, if you guys remember back in the day, I made a video about Howard the Duck where everyone pulled a prank on me and told me that he was coming to the game and made fake graphics and just, oh, it was all a whole mess. I don't know if you guys remember that. Comment down below if you were. You're the OGs if you were. It's one of the first videos that I made. I just think Howard would be cool. He's funny and he just, just it would be funny. All right, so one more thing that I want out of the new year is more game modes. Hey, I don't know what kind of game modes, honestly, that we could put in the game, but Fox next needs to be coming up with some stuff. Cause I think that a lot of people are getting a little just like burned out right now. Uh, world bosses would be really cool, especially in place of the current raids. If they were just like, Hey guys, we're reworking this, Poof, just did away with the current raid system. They won't cause they make too much money. Um, and I've called them out on that and they just, they don't care. They say that it's not about money, but it's obviously about money based on the current design. Um, but world bosses would be very cool. I would love to have that. Um, Blitz is fine recently, not a big deal, but beyond that, like maybe like if they did like, I'm not really sure. I really don't know, but game modes. If you guys have, uh, ideas for new game modes that would be lit, uh, let me know in the comments. So beyond that, that's everything I got for you guys. This video ran a little bit long. So if you hung around, I appreciate you. Let me know the team or the characters that you want down below. And uh, yeah, that's it. Make sure to smash that subscribe button if you are interested in more wonderful and delightful content.
And that's it. I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, this video is probably going to come out right around Christmas. I'm recording this the week before because I will be out of town. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate, Happy New Year, uh, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, whatever, whatever you guys celebrate. If you don't celebrate anything, then happy end of December. I don't know, whatever. Um, but hey, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, you deserve to be doing good. I know holidays can be a little hard for some people. So hopefully if you are one of those people, I myself am also one of those people. Uh, the holidays are kind of hard for me. So making videos and stuff helps me just have my mind on just fun and different things. So I hope watching this video um, has brightened your spirits if you're down or uh, made you laugh or uh, helped you have a good time. So that's why I do all this stuff. I want to, you know, at the end of the day, I do YouTube because I want to be a positive light in people's lives and just really make an impact on you and make your life better. So that said, I'm getting sappy on you. Uh, but thank you guys for the support. I appreciate you. Yeah. Bye. See you. Adios, muchachos. Farewell, my brothers.